All right, everybody, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a button ripple effect like this. So let's get started. Here's what we have for our HTML. It's pretty simple, a couple buttons, font, CSS, and JavaScript there. Some CSS to get us started. All this stuff on the button is just for looks and nothing in the JavaScript. So we're going to start by selecting all of our buttons. And now all of our buttons are in the buttons variable. And loop through each of them and add a click handler. our button so we're going to add an event listener click and create ripple and we're going to make that create ripple function right here function create ripple with our click event stored in the e variable and here we go Right here, we're going to make the circle that's going to expand and create the ripple effect and pop it inside of our button, which the button that was clicked is referenced by the this identifier inside of this function. So we're going to say var circle. Just a div will do fine append child circle so we're adding it there and we're going to give it a class too so we can identify it in our CSS circle dot class add ripple all right so now every time we click on a button it is going to create a new circle with a class of ripple So we'll select that in our CSS, style it up a little bit, and see what it looks like. We're going to give it a width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, and a border radius of 50%. And we'll give it a background color of RGBA. So a partly transparent white. And let's see what we got. Each time we click, we add a new circle. And it looks kind of funny, but we're on the right track. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do here is say position absolute, because we don't want them actually expanding the button there. So all right, that looks good. Now let's size the circle and position it in the JavaScript. So for sizing, we're going to set the width and height of the circle equal to whatever is the largest dimension of the button. So var d sizes the circle properly all right and let's position it correctly as well so we'll do that by saying cir circle dot style left it's going to be e dot 
client x, that's the x um, coordinate of the mouse click. And then since we want it to be in the center, we want the center of the circle to be where the mouse clicked, we're going to subtract half of d. So d divided by 2, and plus pixels there. And we'll do the same for the top. Circle dot style dot top equals e dot client y minus d divided by 2 plus pixels. And that positions it in the correct spot. Okay, then we're going to do a couple more things over here. First, we're going to say overflow hidden. Oh, wait. This also has to have a position of relative. But that doesn't work. Ah, yes. Because we have to fix this over here. This now needs to account for the offset of the parent element. So that's going to be this dot off set left and this dot offset top. There we go. All right. Now that's all positioned correctly. Now all we have to do is add the animation. So I'm going to say animation ripple 0 0.6 second duration and it's going to be completely linear and we can remove this here because that now being set in the JavaScript and our animation keyframes ripple 2 while well, we're starting with it transformed with a scale of zero, so you can't see it at all, and we're transforming it to, or animating it to a transformation of scale 2.5, because that'll make a ripple effect. There we go, but we want it to fade out so it doesn't just disappear, so we'll give it an opacity of zero there as well. And there we go. We have our nice button ripple effect. There's just one thing that you should note. That is each time that you click, it creates a new ripple div. So you could get rid of these in a number of different ways. You could set a timeout in the JavaScript. You could reuse the same circle in the JavaScript. Or I suppose you could just leave it how it is. Anyways, that's how you create a button ripple effect in JavaScript and CSS. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something. I'm Jacob, and have a good one.